Hey guys, Stunt Double here. This is the Mini Talon. It's one of the best FPV planes on the market. It's certainly one of my favourites. There's a lot of good features about it, but I think there's still some room for improvement. So if they were going to do a version 2, this is my list of changes. Number 1. Align the tail servo cutouts with the hinge line. This is the most obvious design flaw on the Mini Talon. Now these servos sit on a bit of an angle compared to the hinge. They really should be more like that, which will help take a bit of pressure off the gears. Number two, use stronger control horns. These control horns that come with the kit are a bit flimsy, and they can be broken easy. I'd like to see something more like this, uh, which comes with a mini goose. This is from XUAV as well. This is like a strong, thick piece of plastic. You can see they drop in from the top, you glue them in place. Now that's a much stronger, safer design. Number three, add ball links to the control rods. It would be nice if there was a ball link on the end of this control rod. And again, that's similar to the Mini Goose. Uh, this kit already comes with ball links. Number four, Move the motor mount to the rear of the fuselage. I'd like to see the motor mount sticking off the very end of the foam. Uh, that way the motor will get better cooling. It'll be much easier to install the motor. And also you could adjust the thrust angles easier. Uh, if they were going to do that, you'd probably have to taper the whole rearward section of the fuselage down. Just to make it come down to a point towards the motor mount. Number five, use a stronger plastic motor mount. The motor mount that comes with the kit is a piece of ply. You can't actually see it on this plane, but it's a bit fragile. I'd like to see something more like this, which is what I've got in my planes already. This is a 3D printed piece from Mark Q, and it's got embedded lock nuts, so it makes it much easier to install or remove a motor. Number six, increase the distance between the wing and the tail. I'd like to see this distance increase by about an inch. I think that would help reduce the pitch sensitivity of the plane and also make it a little bit easier to launch. Number seven, add a wing root locking system to the fuselage. And what I mean by this is so that the wings can be inserted into the fuselage and they're locked and held in place. At the moment, the wings on the Mini Talon just butt up against the fuselage here. Now, these ones are glued in place, but if they're not, this bit here can move around a bit. What I'd like to see is something more like on this plane, which is the multiplex heron. The wings actually insert into the fuselage and they're held in place, so they can't move. Number eight, increase the width of the ailerons. I'd like to see maybe another inch or two inches added to the ailerons here. That'll just help improve the roll rate and make it a bit better for acro flights. Number nine, add a folding hinge to the hatch. The hatch that comes with the kit is just one piece of foam and it always breaks around here. So I'd like to see a hinge similar to what I've done here. Maybe a plastic piece and that'll make it much better to access the batteries. Number 10, add magnets or a locking mechanism to the hatch. So again, this is a mod that I've done. I've added magnets here so that the hatch can easily open and close. Uh, if, you, if they weren't going to use magnets, they could use some sort of locking mechanism so that you can release it quickly and easily. Number 11, increase the length of the hatch. I'd like to see the hatch another two inches or maybe three extended forwards. That would make it much easier when you're trying to install your battery. This bit here always seems to get in the way. Number 12, add a foam streamlined canopy piece. This blue canopy here is 3D printed, but I'd like to see the kit come with a piece of foam in a similar shape. That'll just help reduce the drag make the plane much more efficient. Number 13, add an FPV camera cutout to the nose. Similar to the mod I've done here, 
I'd like to see a hole up the very front of the fuselage so that you can insert your camera. Similar to what they've done with this plane here, this is the Reptile S1100. This plane comes with a square piece of foam that you insert the camera into and then the piece of foam slots into the front. It's a really smart idea. Number 14, increase the length of the nose. I'd like to see the whole nose section extend another inch or maybe two inches out the front. That'll help when you're positioning your batteries and make it a bit easier to get the CG. Number 15, add cooling holes to the fuselage. I'd like to see some holes somewhere up the front here and then also somewhere down the back just to help keep the temperatures down. Number 16, remove the nose wheel. You can see that I've done it on this plane, I've replaced it with this front skid, but the nose wheel on the Mini Talon is very fragile. On my first Mini Talon I ripped the nose wheel out a few times and you don't really need it. Number 17, add a plastic nose skid. So similar to what I've got here, the plastic nose skid does a great job and it really protects the plane on a rough landing. Number 18, smooth the bottom of the fuselage. I'd like to see this whole bottom section here nice and slippery. So part of it was removing the nose wheel, but also I'd like to see this bit here gone. I don't know what it's for anyway, but just keep it all nice and smooth. So similar to what I did on my very first Mini Talon. This is just nice and smooth on the bottom. Number 19, add a plastic tail skid. So again, this is a mod from Mark Q, a 3D printed piece. I'd like to see something like this come with a kit because that greatly helps improve the durability of this plane. And number 20, add reinforcement to the tail fin. The tail fin here is just a piece of foam. I think this could really use some carbon fiber or glass fiber just to help strengthen it, because that can break off on a rough landing. So there's a lot of good things about the Mini Talon already, and these are things they wouldn't want to touch on a version 2. So things like keeping the same airfoil, uh, the same wingspan, the same type of EPO foam, uh, keep the same square profile to the fuselage, and also, most importantly, is keep the same low price. So I'm interested to hear what you think about these changes. If you've got any other ideas yourself for a version 2, please write them in the comments below. Cheers.